I want to jump on something you said because Shane, I talk about it a lot. The negative self talk okay. that girls and all folks can have yeah. mm-hmm. in their minds, running constantly, can yeah. be like a bad bad song you know like it's kind of always in the background of like what you didn't do or what you don't look like or what you don't have do you experience that kind of negative self-talk and what have you done to change it I'm so glad you asked that uh yes all the time as you said it is like a song stuck in your head Mm -hmm. it's a subconscious thing (laughs) um I have realized and I think I heard this somewhere and I don't know who to give credit to but it's a well-worn idea that you can't think yourself out of thinking differently. Mm. You can act yourself out of thinking differently. That goes back to the esteemable acts thing. Exactly. It's the actions that you make. Um, So for example, if I'm having a moment of negative self-talk, I can't really like battle with myself within my mind. But what I can do is try to commit an esteemable act or go help somebody else, go help my mom out or interact with the world to get out of my own head. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you talk a lot about that, Shay, about self-care and the things that you can do to get back to you. Totally. I was literally just about to ask you, Navia, what are the things that you do that get you out of those places of negative self-talk? Is there like a specific hobby or something you do? I know you like to use your voice a lot and (laughs) you're very passionate about your activism. Is that something that helps you? Totally. I mean, focusing on the larger world at hand. Yeah. Um, as I said, getting getting out into the world to get out of my own head. Mm-hmm. So for me, thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes that does show itself in in like social justice work, and sometimes it's even smaller than that. It's things within my house. It's checking mm-hmm. on my dad and my mom because they might feel the exact same way I do right mm-hmm. then, mm-hmm. or um, you know, it's something like that. And it's maybe even what you said, Shay, about caring. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It's exercising the ability and power that is caring and that totally radiates from you and I'm Thank glad you. that you said that about yourself because it's Do you guys want me to leave the room? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. No. You I want to be on this No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think you care a lot too, yes. I care an awful yeah. lot. Yes, I do. mean, I care about this topic. I've been talking about it for a yeah. long, long time with young people all over the world and I think you both are hitting on beautiful notes which is, again, it's the relationship to ourselves but I love what we're saying about we've got to act our way into feeling differently. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we can't like battle thought to thought and and that's what I like about the advice here is it's got to be really practical and one of the things we've talked about is that trust and trusting yourself and trusting others is a big part of learning to like yourself oh, yeah. Yeah. and trust takes action over time totally. right so I'm curious like how you've learned to trust yourself I, I think I'm still learning to trust myself mm. Trust in myself has come with trying to know myself. So Mm -hmm. it's kind of what I said earlier about not running away from self-doubt, but kind of leaning in and asking myself, oh, why am I feeling this way? What is causing this negative self-talk? Sometimes it's completely invalid stuff. Like, oh, I'm I'm thinking negatively about my chubby cheeks right now, my baby face, because people used to make fun of me Mm -hmm. about that in Mm -hmm. kindergarten. So that's completely invalid. But sometimes it's important things I need to recognize. This negative self-talk is happening because I didn't put enough effort into X, you Mm -hmm. know? And so I I like to lean in and through knowing myself and knowing when those feelings are valid, I can learn to trust myself and my instincts. I really love that. Ask yourself questions. Yeah, I love that too. We talk about that a lot. Curiosity is a huge part of building a friendship, but it's also a good part of building how you know who you are. 